I'm having a dinner party and I seem to run out of coffee. You can be anything you want to be there. You can see anything you want to see there. There's excitement in the air for you and me there. Fancy free there. Take your family there. But you've got to be there. Yeah. You've just got to be there. You'll feel free there. You'll be what you want to be. See what you want to see. Seven holes there. It's nearly six o'clock. Pack up and piss off. Mystic Meg, I can do without. I like watching her. I think if she says someone wearing a yellow jumper, I think, oh, I wish I had a yellow jumper on. That's how it goes, you know. <laughs> well, the thing she says, it's going to be a bus driver going to win it. Somebody Capricorn, she always... It's stupid half the time, none of them win. I think her predictions do more often than not come true. I think I can do what she's doing. Come out of a steam or whatever it is they have. We've been oh, fused! No! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd pressed it. I was all good. Oh, we're doing so many good impressions then. Oh, oh you can tell we're not well. Mystic Meg, I can do without. I like watching her. I think if she says someone wearing a yellow jumper, I think, oh, I wish I had a yellow jumper on. That's how it goes, you know. Oh, I think if someone's wearing a yellow jumper, then they should get a yellow jumper on. There it goes. I think all predictions are true. Um, sorry about that. I can't. Don't know how we're on mute. It's because um, we're not with it. We're not with it. We're still in a cloudy COVID. We're in. Co <laughs> we're like in cock, cock, cock and wool. Yeah. Oh, it's been horrible, hasn't it? Yeah. Really. It's has. been. Um. It's. <coughs> oh. <coughs> it's um. Yeah. It's been nasty. So for all you little babies out there who've had it. We know exactly what you went through. Because it's actually our first time, isn't it? Yeah, we've not had Can you believe day. it? In three, well, nearly three years. Of course, um, the isolation creations were created for uh, those people who were isolation, isolated. And now we are isolated. Let's have a look in uh, my rowdy half of the bar. So um, the downstairs bar, it's all a little bit, what's it smell of in there today? Um, like Dettel. Dettel, <laughs> it's been wiped Sherry, down. Sherry's been around with the Dettel wipes. It's wiped down because we've been badly... Um, so over in there, we've got Tracy 30, first through the doors. Um, now, Tracy 30 has fallen over on the ice in America. Oh, Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Tracy. So she's hurt her back. So I hope you're all oh, right, Tracy. Love you. Uh, and then we've got Kim. Kim and Jens. Hello, darlings. Uh, from Denmark are in. Um, I was thinking of Kim and Jens when I was in Norway. Oh, did you? Cause yeah. They're, they're nearby. You're Because I could get a little ferry from Kristiansand down to Denmark. Oh. Um, but I don't know if I'd be anywhere near you, Kim and Jens, but um, I might come and visit one day. Uh, Claire B80, Claire BBQ, as Alan calls her, is next through there. Nibbles and Bubbles. Uh, I think it's just Bubbles. She says, evening all. Hope those poorly, bo poorly boys are feeling better. Um, we had a lovely little care package from Nibbles and Bubbles on Saturday. And it was a wonderful care package of things that we love. We had a little doorbell ring and... Um, I was in bed. Well, Alan was in bed asleep. I was in bed in my pants, so I ran down. <coughs> so Nibbles and Bubbles thought, saw me on the doorstep in my pants. Uh, they had left us a little bag and it had... Uh, like yeah, snacks, cakes, booze. Cocktails, treats for Peggy. A little Peggy thing for Peggy. Yeah. So that was lovely. And then um, our beautiful boys, the Eat Me Boys, 
um, pop round and pop some they gave, lem sips brought, and they brought some drugs. There are dealers, so we got lem sips and some um, cold and few flu capsules. Um, so we're being looked so after. So thank you guys, and thank you for those people who have been messaging us all week, asking how we are. You know, private messaging and everything. Yeah, thank you. Thank we you. Feel cared for. Pip was next in. Pip says, "Warmest shalom, Pip boys." Warmest shalom back to you, Pip. Andrew Chapman <coughs> popping in for a small one. He's at work. Small one, and he's gone into my bar, my side of the bar. Nothing small over there, is it, do you? No. Uh, ben Singer is in. Ben! A lovely Ben we from Canada. We have a friend in Ben. <laughs> uh, Nibbles and Bubbles are flying off to uh, the station to pick up Shari's daughter very soon. Uh, Leslie Ann Lynch is in, the lovely Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Uh, Jason Darcy, lovely Mr. Darcy, is in, um, who is getting raring up for Eurovision, uh, getting all ready. I don't think he got Eurovision tickets. Did anyone <coughs> get Eurovision tickets? Anyone out there got Eurovision well, I, tickets? I sort of seen smatterings of people getting tickets, but not for like the main show. I bet Philip and Holly got them, didn't Ooh, they? Yeah, I bet they're front rare night. Um... Summer 21, Seven Network is here. Uh, boy, crazy boy. So that is Pete Potofsky and the lovely Cena are in, who are our eyes on Thanet. Um, down on the south coast. Uh, let's hope they can go and visit the Thanet cats for us soon and find out if our little friends are still alive. Uh, who else? Joel Hazel Dean is Hello, in. Hiya, Joel. Um, then everyone started clicking like because, of course, we, we need a certain amount of likes before Scylla gets risen from her crypt. And, uh, yeah, Scylla appeared on 13 likes, um, as did Darren Bramley, who is in France, lost in France. And a big thank you to Darren for sending us a, a brand new speak and spell. <laughs> Don't sound like a little child. <coughs> so we'll be using that for one of our sketches, won't we? We will indeed. Um, Darren Bramley, so that's most probably Mrs. Bramley might be with him. Mad Mademoiselle and Madame Bramley in um, uh, lovely France. La Pomme de Terre's. No, La Pomme. The Bramley Pommes. Uh, David Moore is in. Dale Ibbotson is in. Uh, D'Angela is here. Um, Coral Daft is here. Uh, <coughs> Gareth is in. Uh, Mr. Venus is here. Mr. Venus says, hi, dolls. Let's celebrate. Um, so I presume a Will Venus might be in as well. Um, Sill is here to haunt us all. Uh, Linda LaHughes, she has put her mask on and she's coming in. That's my cousin Lucy. Paul McFarlane is here. <coughs> the lovely Paul. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the isolation ward. Um, Paul McFarlane promised he's going to wear his kilt. And he's going to lift it up in a carry on up the Kyber fashion for Well, us. not only that, but we had um, Nurse Nightingale from Masham, didn't we? Yeah, Nurse Nightingale <coughs> from Masham. <coughs> sorry. Oh, stop your coughing in me ear, old. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's like, it's, like, it's like when you have to phone in sick for work the next day. He's, he's not been coughing all evening. Uh, my dad is in, David Maudsley. Hello, Dad. Alex Johnson is here. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Uh... Jason Darcy says, today's show is sponsored by Kleenex, the letter A, Chew, and the number 69. Uh, anyone else is here? <coughs> You've got to get some picture. Will Venus is here. Um, then everyone's saying the audio was off, which, of course, was my mistake. Caroline Ibbotson is in. Um, <coughs> hopefully, that is everyone. Um, Helen is in, the lovely Helen from Ulf. Is in Helen sent me a brilliant clip which um, I'm, I'm saving up, um, but there's an amazing clip which is coming up. It's either going to be in one of our quizzes or it'll be a finale for one of our evenings. Um, Cy Slimbo popping in. He's just popped in to see if the buffering has stopped. The ukulele elf is here. I think that's everyone. TLD seventy one, um, and lots of chit chat amongst yourselves. Alan's gone down to get some uh, medicine. I had a feeling it would be too much for him. He has been coughing loads. Um, I've been teaching. So although I've had COVID, I've been teaching three hour classes um, online around the world. Uh, the first one I had to teach was in America, um, all from here. It was like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life because I was 
like right at the start of COVID then. I just wanted to be in bed. Um, I kept thinking I'd said the same thing over and over again. I was almost delirious. It felt like I was underwater. Um, and then I taught again uh, in Europe and that was a little bit better because I was getting better and I've been teaching today. But I think that's why my voice is a little bit better than Alan's. Um, let's have a look. The 40th anniversary of something, but I don't know what that is. The 40th anniversary of it, Drew. So Seven Network. What's it the 40th anniversary of? Program. I'm not sure. I missed Film, it. Film, something camp. Uh, 40th anniversary. What year would that be? 83. 83? Mm. Neighbours. Silla surprise prize. No, Silla Silla would let us know. Widows TV series. Widows. Widows. Um, I don't really know Widows. I started watching it years ago, then stopped watching it. It's got Dolly Skilbeck in it. Has it? No. <laughs> There's a character called Dolly in it. The main one's called Dolly, I think. Uh, the only I know, thing I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I only know it from French and Saunders when they do like a Linda LaPlante yeah. skit. Um, anyway, let's have a look over in Facebook world. Do you want me to read these? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit tickly. Do you want me to go for them? Or yeah, you, yeah you can go for them. Uh, so we've got Mark Mondeo Pearson, uh, first through the doors. Hello, Mark. Mark is busy losing weight. And um, fishing. Going to Weight Watchers or one of the, or Slimming World. He's lost over a stone, I think. Yeah. Uh, Sarah Simpson, I haven't lost anything. I've not been eating, but I've not lost anyway. Sarah Simpson next in, she says, how are you, we both, and how's Peggy? Peggy's lovely, Peggy's like a little nursemaid. She sticks to your side, doesn't she? Yeah, she's been like, right, clumped next to me. Well, she's She's down there. Not here at the moment. She is, move the camera down, John. Is she down there? Yeah. She knows you're talking about her, look. For some reason, she, she just lays on the floor now. I think it's because the radiators. She loves that rug, though. Uh, Stephen Hughes is here, says hello, everyone. Tom Clue is, is in here. Mark Hall is in, the lovely Mark from Wales, um, who's been on a little adventure to West Wales. Uh, Filippo Giacomo Bracchioforte is in. You said that so well. Um, and Filippo uh, went rollerblading. Did you read that? Filippo went roller skating, I think, at the weekend. Wow. And... Uh, um, Ended up doing the splits by accident on his roller skate, oh. and he's done himself in. Oh, so Filippo. Um, That's what I do. He's uh, pulled pulled certain things where they shouldn't be. Dangerous pulled. roller skating, isn't it? I'd lo- I'd love to roller skate. Me and um, Nibbles want to go roller skating at the YMCA. Ooh. I love yeah. it. I have like this feeling that I'd be like um, Steve Gutenberg at the start of the Village People movie. In reality, I'd most probably be like um, Scarborough's very hilly. Yeah, that'd be awful. Uh, Joel William Hazeldean is in both bars. Uh, Richard Bobbins Duffer is here. Des Webster. Des says, greetings from Antalya in Turkey. Having cocktails, cocky tea. So we're, we're beaming into Turkey at the moment. Nigel TC is here, which means Neil is most probably with him. Gabrielle Chasse is here. And Gabby wishes everyone a happy St. Patrick's Day for Friday. Uh, Angela Willis is here. Uh, Neil Sandwell. No, I think it's not Neil. I think it's just it's Lady still royalty. V. royalty. Royalty's still in the house. Lady V and Little Lord Henry are in. Um, Little Lord Henry bought Neil a camouflage t-shirt. You look good in it. So who knows where Neil is? He could be behind us right now. Um, Andrew Orm is in. Naomi McBride is here. Christopher Welsh is off to bed, but has popped in some junior aspirin and beef tea for us. Um, lots of people saying that the sound was on. Off. Gareth Jones is here in the snug. He's at work. He's on his phone, um, but he's peeping in. Beth and Williams is here. Jason Rigby is here and there. Um, Leanne McGee is here from Australia. Is Leanne in Australia or have I made that one up? Is she in Wales, isn't she? No, Leanne's from Australia. Oh, she's from Australia. And it's Bethan, who's not from Australia, but I'd like to think is from Australia. Uh, Susan Philip Myers is in. Nigel TC, Beth and Williams. Marcia is in. Uh, just her, the boys are downstairs watching Liverpool. Oh. I presume that's a football game. They'd rather watch them than us then. I don't know. Is it a football game? I don't know. Or are they just looking, out, the t- just t- looking t- out the window? Uh, Caroline Humphreys is here. We are here with Elliot's friend, George. Hello, George. Hello, George. Hello, Hello Elliot. Elliot. Hello, Caroline. Um, a nice threesome. I wonder what you've had for tea. 
let me know what Caroline pops on popped on your dinner plate, boys. Is it um, proper tea? Proper school tur- tea. Turkey Twizzlers. Beans. Uh, Alex Clark is in. Alex, Alex and Mark were playing the bread board game at the weekend. It, 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 shows, it sent a picture. It looks it fun. Looks it's fun. like a Monopoly. You pick up your cards and it says, someone sold you a dodgy phone. And I did ask, did you think Avalon <coughs> was £20 in a beauty contest? Oh, I used to love winning the beauty contest in Monopoly. Um, Richard Bobbins Duffer says, do go roller skating. It's fabulous. Beth and Williams has started keto dieting this week. We can't really do keto because we're vegetarian. It's me, isn't it, really, keto? Um, I think that is everyone in both bars. Um, what have we missed? What have we oh, been it's missing? It's been about two weeks, hasn't it, since we saw... Where we, we did like had a had hock. We did an ad hoc and then I went ill on Saturday was when I went down with COVID-D. And then Alan went down on the Monday, I think. Um, So we missed Eurovision, the Eurovision song. Um, What do people think of Mae Muller's Eurovision song um, called I Wrote a Song? I liked it. What do you reckon? Now, I like it. I think it's a banger. Um, I think it's sassy and I think it's fierce. And I'd certainly shake my tush to it. However, I don't think she's that likeable in it, in the video. And I think to win Eurovision, you have to be a bit likeable. And I think because she's a bit bratty and a bit sassy, I don't know if she's warm. And I think Sam Ryder mm. was massively warm yeah. and had this brightness and this warmth throughout the song. Whereas I think Mae Muller's a little bit bratty, a bit mm. Lily Allen brattiness. She's got big nails as well, hasn't she? But, you know, she's got fierce talons. So I love it. I love the song. Is it a Eurovision winner? I'm not sure. Well, I listened to it a second time because I think Eurovision winning songs are sort of songs that if you can't understand what the words are, you still like it. You know, the, the sort of tune and the rhythm. If you're from a different country. Yeah. Um, and I, I still think it's got it's got, it's got got scope. Jason Darcy, love, 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 capital letters. Um, Leslie Ann Lynch loves a bit of May Muller. Uh, my cousin Lucy says... I like it. It's got Dua Lipa vibes. Dua Lipa? <laughs> Look at her knowing a bit of Dua Lipa. Um, uh, let's have a look. Uh, depends on the staging, but it's a strong entry. Scylla Black says, good good point, Jamie. You've got to be likeable. Scylla, which Eurovision acts did you think are the most likeable over the years? Because Sonia's likeable, but I don't think she did very well. Lulu was likeable. <laughs> Leslie Ann Lynch says, I can vouch for how warm Sam Ryder is. And then she gives her three winks. A lot of people are talking about Loreen from Sweden. You know who Loreen is, don't you? She's the one who sang, Euphoria. Am I right there? Euphoria. Did she sing that? Am I right? I'm not sure. Let me know. Darren B says, Sam Ryder is the nicest chap. I presume Darren knows that from camera one. Because I'm sure he'll have... Um, oh, he's lovely. I think he'll have had lovely. Sam in. And I think he's doing a little one. Well, he's doing a show, isn't he? Because I think some of our followers are going to see him. I think Sam Ryder. Yeah, I think um, Leslie's going to see him. <coughs> um, or seen him if he's already sang. Will Venus? I quite, I quite like Do La Peep. Who's Do La Peep? Is that Do La Peeper? I don't even know. Who I Dua tell you what, Will. Is. When I when I was ill, Will, um, <laughs> I watched your your great video on your purple space makeup. No, black space makeup. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, um, Will Will does a collaboration with someone. I'm not sure who it is because I was people. a bit ill and in a haze. And but, he, Jamie comes downstairs and he goes, "Oh, Will's on the Will's on the telly." And Will was doing this sort of like space agey makeup. It was quite goth. And who did it remind us of? Later on that day, we watched someone. Uh, Tammy we... Faye. <laughs> no, no. Will was using this one. Um, Will, I don't know what it was called, but he had this wonderful. Um, silver, white. the white, the vibrant one. Yeah, it was in a sort of cat pancake pot. The white one that just yeah, like that shone. Shimmered. And even Will got excited. Yeah, and then we watched the eyes of Tammy Faye that night, and I said, Tammy Faye's eye makeup, remi- like late on eye makeup, old Tammy Faye reminded me a little bit of Will Venus's space look. Will, please take that as a compliment because it is meant as. Well, a it was huge the bit compliment. that was going on the highlighty bit. Because uh, yeah, Tammy Faye has And that. then he put it on his cheeks. Um, Jeff Cook has joined us. Jeff Cook says, Hi guys, I love your videos. I was pulled in when I saw your Are You Being Served credits video. Really? God, that's Jeff, that was one of our first ever videos. That was right at the height of lockdown. 
um, when we didn't have anything. We had like a bag of wigs um, and we did really well. And we, we want to revisit that. We want to do Are You Being Served Again? Because um, I think we could do a nicer, nice bigger one. Uh, better one. Let's have a look. Anything coming in that I might have missed? Um, I'm not sure. Scylla's not given us any opinions on who was likeable. Alexander Ryback was likeable, says Cy Slimbo, in all I sorts of ways. Him. Yeah, you like him, don't you? Yeah. Scylla um, uh, agrees with us about uh, Sam Ryder. Let's have a look over here. Have we heard what um, Caroline fed those fed those boys she said no i don't think so but i saw another lovely little name pop up um stefan oh. butler the lovely stefan butler is here and he's going to see sam Ryder at the end of the month um oh, stefan's the most beautiful man <coughs> um who did lots of harry potter stuff with me when we were younger i was about 30 and stefan i guess was in his mid twenties, uh, and Stefan was Ravenclaw. Stefan was Ravenclaw. I was, of course, Gryffindor, uh, and we did lots of stuff uh, for uh, Warner Brothers and Harry Potter and Universal Warner Brothers. I think it was. Yeah. Um, so lovely to see you, Stefan. Um, anything I've missed? Laureen for the win, says Mark Holtz, uh Sweden. Um, Sonia came second in Eurovision Better the devil she know Says James Brett Now James Was it Sonia's Eurovision That um, we met each other Was it? I'm sure it was James let me know Was it Sonia's Eurovision That we met each other at Or was it Michael Ball Or was it someone random That I can't remember um, Let me know um, Ra Ra Ravenclaw says Stefan he was Ravenclaw and he says it's lovely to see our gorgeous faces we've got Covid D Stefan so we're not feeling our best today I see Paul's popped in do you see has he popped over there as well the Capricals. oh Paul <laughs> Paul's burst into the little quiet snug Facebook snug with his um, lovely loud Scottish ways uh, Nigel TC he's got a question for us are you looking forward to the return of Challenge Annika? I believe it's 30 years since it came on the telly box. I am, but how old is Annika now? I, Annika doesn't age. Rice, she's still rice be, don't crack. Is she still being able to run around like that? Yeah, and she's got, you know, Dave. Dave was her sound guy or camera guy. Mm. He's still in it. He's. I saw him pull up in the little Annika buggy. Wow. Um, I, I love it. I love Annika Rice. I, love I was Challenge amazed Annika. what they used to do in a weekend. Like build a children's playground. I know, and build that little uh, little walkway for hedgehogs. <laughs> I wonder if it'll be the same same credits. And it was always it was always the same. Like, oh, I'm joined here by John from uh, Sheds <coughs> Sheds UK because um, it's BBC. Was it BBC? Oh, those DIY SOS boys won't be sniffing around, will they? Oh, ch- oh I hate them. Chalky and. All the ones screwy. who help out, yeah. Screwy and light bulby. And there's the sort of cocky geezer bird who designs. And sh- oh, I don't know. Get- shut up, lads. Um, I'm screwing Yeah, to love it. Uh, it's Channel 5, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, we'll find out if it's good. I think... Oh, um, it has to be good. I think a few Channel 5 entertainment people follow us. Um, so you never know. We might end up being Annika's little sidekicks. I'll tell you what, I'm staying on that bloody buggy. Darren Bramley, would you be prepared to be like Annika's cameraman? Would you run around with a little camera? Or is that like, is that, are you um, beyond those Well, I did see him the other day. day the, he did put a picture on the other day and he's holding a very big one. What, a big uh, camera? And his camera. And he said something like, um, those days are over now. Oh, no. Before he did. Like steady cam days. Well, it's one of those massive ones that takes... That you sort of wear a harness for. Yeah. And there's no wheels or anything. You're holding it. Um, Lots of love for Laureen going on. Johnny Logan uh, has been mentioned. Um, Alex Johnson says, The first video of ours that he saw was Young Doctors. I was immediately reminded of his funky theme tune. And Cagney and Lacey is a favourite. Yeah, Young Doctors. Oh, that was funny. Is like bonkers. We just went silly with it. Because Jamie didn't, didn't really know it. And I said, well, here's the sort of key characters and um 
I sort of just gave him sexy nurses to play, didn't I? <laughs> we just, uh, all animal. I could all I could remember was one guy who had like shady glasses um, and a comb over. So yeah. I remembered him. I remember Pixie Mason. That was Doctor. Oh, what's his name, Doctor? Um, and then I just made up the others. Well, there was Alan Dale. Uh, Alex Clark is assuring us that they've promised the hedgehogs will be in the titles. Um, James Brett says, yes, yes, yes. It was Sonia's Eurovision that we unknowingly met at Kent University really? Hall in 1993. And Jamie Honeybourne was part of a rowdy conga. Um, and he was desperately trying to hear the voting as I congered through. <laughs> we were watching um, Here She Is, weren't we, this week? Yes. And we were watching the clip where Sonia comes back. From that, she was in that documentary. We mentioned that on, on, our, here. on our Friday night, where um, Sonia comes back to Reborn in the USA, and um, Therese from Dollar is livid. Yeah. Um, any any news? Let's have a look. Um, oh, Will Venus says I've got some made by Mitchell makeup to send us. Oh, Will. Will, is that some blush? We'd love to have a little bit of blush. Uh, I was what, looking. I was looking at Will's designs, and I'm thinking I'm going to look at a, a purple design for Divinity. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to. I'm going to look at one of their videos and see what I can. I can. Will, we should do a collaboration video. Oh, Will, can you we? should come on, teach us how to do it. But we'll dress as Sherry and Brandy. We'll give you a lot of beef. We'll give you a lot of um, hassle. We won't do it properly. And we'll most probably just end up with garage doors. But it'll be fun. Boy Crazy Boy, that's Pete and Sina, says, loved Treasure Hunt on a Thursday night. I bet you didn't watch Treasure Hunt I on Thursday. I did, actually. Did My dad used to watch it while he was having his tea. <laughs> and I said, take this tea in. And, <coughs> um, and it used to be on the telly. And for some reason, I, I used to watch it. Didn't understand what the hell the clues were. But oh, well... Weren't they? Didn't you need like a library to get them? Let's pop over to pop over to um, little uh, Maudsley Mansions, and uh, what do you reckon was going on in Honeybourne Towers? I bet, I bet Anne and David were there with their um, encyclopedias. My dad wasn't. Dad oh. were. I think Dad was teaching on a Thursday night. I bet Anne was. Though. So it was me and Mum. We had the encyclopedias out. We had books out, and genuinely, we used to solve the clues before Wincy had even moved that helicopter. Now look, out, out and about with David have just told us that a Annika's 64. She looks good for it. Blinking hell, 64 and she's going to be doing a challenge Annika again. Bring it, bring it on, girl. 64 is no age. Um, uh, da David Van Day was vile to Sonia, not Therese, says Cy Slimbo. Cy, we beg to differ. Therese is pure passive-aggressive. She, she is. <laughs> David Van Day is like outright, but Therese... Pure passive aggressive. Um, we'll try and uh, if here she is pops in, we'll find out what what video it's on. Um, that clip because it is brilliant. Um, we uh, Paul McFarlane says Will and Sherry and Brandy. It's a Scotsman's dream. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Um, Silla Black says Treasure Hunt was a great show. Uh, Nigel TC says Treasure Hunt clues were as bad as the riddles on three two one. Um, I was watching that again the other day. Just, Were you? Yeah, because I'm a big fan of Faye Presto. <laughs> I love Faye Presto. Do you remember I gave Faye Presto my wedding ring once? Yeah, and she said, made out of tin and give me a wink. Mm. I love Faye Presto. And she was on that in the early days. Really? Uh, yeah, she's beautiful, beautiful Faye Presto. And um, the clues were so bizarre. I was like, how on earth can you guess what it is from that? Uh, if you've not watched our um, Gogglebox 1982, is it 1982? Yeah. Um, we watched an episode of um, 321 on that, didn't we? Mm. And try, the Crankies try and solve the clue. Uh, oh, do you so remember yeah, when try I, and can, find I just it. couldn't do the Scottish accent? Alan couldn't do Jimmy Cranky's accent. I was Irish, really, was I? Got really livid, didn't you? Yeah. I bet you can't do it now, can you? Try and say Fandabby Dozy in a Scottish accent. Fandabby Dozy! <laughs> Is that Scottish? No. <laughs> yeah, but it's not Jimmy Cranky. Eh? Jimmy Cranky doesn't go, Dozy! <laughs> Fandabby Dozy. Jimmy Cranky's like that. Fandabby if, Dozy. I that, I'm not, if I do that, I'll have another coughing fit. Um, Leslie Ann Lynch thinks Divinity would suit um, Purple. Uh, Jason Darcy wonders, is Faye Presto she still with is, us? She is. She is. Um, 
she, she's just like magic shows as part of a magic she's like one member of a magic team and then she's um she's just this club in in london where she goes every thursday night and does magic around the tables we saw her on um we saw her in a comedy camp in london mm. didn't we oh yes yeah, she's very funny night. she's a very funny comedian yeah and she took my wedding ring and did a magic trick got rid it. of it or something disappeared disappeared i found it up me up my bum three days later uh, with the rest, <laughs> with the others. Uh, Treasure Hunt was aired between 82 to 89. I would have only been a, a wee slip of a lad, but I still solved those clues. Um, of course, it had Wincy on it, didn't it? Wincy, yeah, Wincy Willis. Oh, she's now gone a bit. She's gone a bit Wincy. Incy Wincy. Um, Kath Wells wants to remind everyone it was in the papers that the Crankies in real life were a white swing. Right swingers in the 80s. Oh, well, uh, I mean, I'm not a swinger, out. but can you imagine going to a party and they're there and you're like, oh, no. I don't, I don't. I don't think you'd recognise Jeanette Cranky if she had, like, her boobs out. It's not about her, am I in? <laughs> oh. You might... Do you reckon, oh, no, I'm not no, going to no, 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 go no, there. No, no, um, Right, it's half past, which means we're going to have a big old cough. Um, but we're going to play some adverts. I hope you enjoy our little advert breaks. I do um, try and curate some interesting adverts for you. So um, let's take a little step back to the 1980s. Down Under. When you're dancing to blue or grey, then change the colour of your day. Change the colour of your day. Cadbury Crunchy. Which golden honeycomb? Change the colour of your day. Smothered with delicious Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. Cadbury Crunchy. It'll change the colour of your day. Not every bloke who joins the army wants to drive a leopard tank. Looks like you picked up a hitchhiker. Hey, we've got ourselves a In fact, the Army's got over 150 different jobs they can train you. This up for us, will you, Dave? And with that many jobs to choose from, well, you've got to find one that suits you. They... Now, ready! Dollars. All around the store. Now down to two dollars. There's a dollar dazzlers. Two for a dollar. There's a whole lot more. Now only two dollars each. Check out all the savings. And you new world. I used to go out with the boy next door, but that car came between us. He's always in it, on it, or under it. It's only ever gone 15 kilometers, and for seven of those, I was totally missing. Some people never learn. Especially when you buy your first car, you need the RAC to check it out for you and to fault check it if it gives you trouble. They could even lend you the money to buy it. Get ahead of the game with the RAC. To make people flying on business even more comfortable, Anset announced real beds, fully equipped bathrooms, even hot showers. For the price of other airlines business class, We'll fly you return on ANSET's superior economy class and throw in your overnight stay at a choice of top hotels. The ANSET Executive Package from ANSET. The only airline that gives you a whole room to yourself when you fly. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the real potato taste of Smith? If you're getting tired of Charlie's behavior and you want to get the taste of some adult flavor, then you're ready. Then you're ready. There's one midweek newspaper that should go straight to the head of the household. To the one person the family relies on for clothing and footwear. For things like shampoos and hair dryers. That one person who looks after the family food budget. 
there's one midweek newspaper that needs to be read by every head of the household. The midweek times makes your day. Your very own free newspaper. Delivered every Wednesday. Let me tell you something. I'd never used a laundry liquid. Not because I didn't like them. I just thought they were too expensive. Well, not anymore. Surf liquid. It gives you fantastic results in hot or cold water, and yet it costs a whole lot less than you'd expect. Levering Kitchen even guarantees surf liquid. If you're not happy with the results, you get your money back. Try it. You'd be mad if you didn't. Surf liquid gives you a good wash every time at a sensible price. Now, a gleam for your legs to put a gleam in their eyes. Dazzlers by Razzmatazz. Winter warmth in a rainbow of gleaming colors. This winter, Razzle Dazzle them. We're back. Australian adverts just seem a bit more fun than ours, don't they? I do. I, we, we were, um, I knew people would think it was Des Clark in the midweek news advert. You thought it was him yeah. as well, didn't you? And wasn't that crunchy big? I know, and the crunchies, had, you have Not to that. eat them like... <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't, it doesn't freeze on that image. Yeah. Um, and Razzle Dazzle the tights. Razzmatazz tights. You were a bit annoyed with that woman, wouldn't you? Yeah, showing off with a co cake and coffee. <laughs> While she's out like, shopping. And getting a surf liquid out. <laughs> um, let's have a look. I can see them in Amongst Sons and Daughters. Yeah, that was what I was hoping. Um, they were like... And the uh, midweek newspaper times thing, the advert. And they're, they're all sat in like a sort of like red brick kitchen. It was very neighbours though, yeah. wasn't it? All of that was neighbours mm. Um Now, my loves, what... Uh, when you were at school, when you were at school, uh, and you did a sicky, what was like the highlight of your day when you were doing a sicky? Because I guess it was like TV, daytime TV that you were able to watch. Were you able to watch daytime TV oh, when yeah. you did sickies? Yeah. What was your highlight? Oh, it'll be all the soaps, like Young Doctors. Oh, and uh, and um, the Sullivans. Yep, yeah. and uh, must probably a Yorkshire Kitchen. With is, um, is a Yorkshire kitchen Susan Brooks? N no, she's Scottish. What was her name? She's Scottish in a Yorkshire kitchen. Yeah, she was Scottish. She was an East Yorkshire cook, uh, um, cook, but she was on, but she's from Scotland. Let's have a look at some of the answers we've got in uh, Seven Network schools programs, mainly for the idents. I love Joel's message about um, he thought it looked like Des Clark, but Paul Keen in brackets. <laughs> You're a proper goggle box, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, schools programs, neighbours, paint along with Nancy, oh, Lily paint Law, along Nancy, yeah. Crown Court, yep. Darren, uh, Diagnosis Murder or Murder She Wrote for Pip, yeah. Simon B, Loved Young Doctors, Linda LeHughes, Take the High Road, oh yeah, Mrs. Matt, uh, Crown Court and Pipkins, uh, <coughs> Caroline Ibbotson watching Grease Two on video and singing all the Popping songs. Popping videos on when she was ill. Popping a VHS in when you're ill. Uh, Crown Court on the sofa lying down. Uh, Take the High Road, Trumpton, Camberwick Green, mm. um, The Clumps. I think Darren means The Flumps. Unless the he Flumps? A, unless he had a, a, his own version. Yeah, maybe there was a little strange version, Le Clump, the French version. Uh, Chortle and the Wheelies, Kids TV at Midday. Mm. Uh, hello, little old lady. Uh, over here. Got Country Practice, Pebble Mill. Pebble Mill. Pebble Mill with Judy Spires, Judy Spires. Uh, I'm not sure that would entertain me, Coyer. Pebble Mill, to be honest. I used to get home for my lunch and I'd watch Pebble Mill. I'd watch Pebble Mill with a cup of soup and um, a little cheese spread sandwich. And a few roasted peanuts. A few peanuts. Going for gold. Uh, Je is on. <laughs> we did that, didn't we, once? We did do a video of Going for Gold. Uh, farmhouse Kitchen with Grace Grace Mulligan, Mulligan that was it. <laughs> Just so sort of say... Hello, and today I'm making a peanut curry, Hello, uh, followed by uh, chocolate eclairs. Grace Mulligan does sound Scottish. Was she like, what's for tea? Very much, <laughs> but she speed through everything. Uh, here we go. Filippo Iacomo, Brachioforte. Chicken soup, orange aid, and murder she wrote on the telly under my grand's couch. Oh, and I bet the orange aid was bright orange. 
Uh, Martin Garton Spence, Martin Garton Spence's mum still has her Yorkshire kitchen cookbook. Oh yeah, they brought up something like that. <coughs> Uh, over here we have um, Tracy Thirty. Of course, is from to the side of the pond. So for her, it was Oprah or Maury, Maury, Maury. I think he's called something like Maury Povich or something. But I can't. I, I remember watching Oprah. Oprah. I remember Ricky. A bit of Ricky on uh, Channel Four about four o'clock. I think. Because my my friend, I went to go and, um, after university. I went to go and visit my friend Mandy in Tottenham. Mandy, yeah. and uh, she, she took me around to a grand. Grandma and granddads, and they went. Oh yeah, we love watching uh, that that opera, Opera Winifrey. And you watched opera in Tottenham? No, we were talking about opera. Opera Winifrey. Opera Winifrey. Opera Finger Winifrey. bobs. Um, uh, Crown Court. Um, Helen from all. Ellen from all mm. has said, "I've only just found out that Crown Court wasn't a real court." I'm 50, she says. Was it not? No, it was built like a proper court. But was it like actors playing parts? Yeah, it was actors, I think. Well, I thought it was like Judge Judy or Oh, no, Rinder. no, it was a proper court, court case. Well, you know, it was real life, realistic. It wasn't daft Judge, Judge Rinder. Here we go. Out and About with David says, When I skipped school, I worked in the local horse riding school. No one could find me. Well, you were ill. Oh, he's just skipping school. He wasn't ill. Um, Bod. Um, yep. Simon B didn't have a video until 1992 and just had a 12-inch portable. Um, Joshua, I used to enjoy listening to my mum downstairs talking crap to her mates who'd pop round. Um, it was like early Corrie. Oh, you see, I was down on the, on the sofa. Um, Pip says, if I was really unwell, my mum would put in her Victoria Wood special VHS and Barry and Frieda used to make me howl. If I was really unwell, me and my mum would watch Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Um, together on video. Um, Darren's second in command used to do Rainbow and Button Moon. <laughs> I hope you mean but on cameras. Um, uh, Cilla Black says Judy Spires is very talented and was treated terribly by do the you know, I was reading that, that exact comment and then Jenny flicked it. But I read it as Judy Spears is very talented and treated very terribly by Button Moon. <laughs> Um, Simon B, I used to watch Fame TV series with my granny. Um, Cole Taylor says, chain letters, go in for gold, take the high road. Um, Martin Garten Spence says, a country practice. Uh, Montel Williams. Mm. Mark Mondeo Pearson. I remember a big fluffy duvet watching Rainbow. Oh yeah, Rainbow. Was I remember TV AM to the end. So TV AM, like the... Past half eight TV AM, which always felt quite grown up. Mm. Uh, I remember Laverne and Shirley slash Mork and Mindy, mm. that sort of age. Mm. Um, the time, the place. Yeah, with Kilroy. No, with that guy who used to do his time. Oh, um, John Stapleton, John Linfold. Linfold Woods' husband. Yep. Um, and then most probably very early, um, Richard and Judy this morning. Mm. Because that was a good whopper, wasn't it? That was two hours. That was like my morning done. That Black and white, portable telly Susan in, Brooks. in mum and dad's bed. Susan Brooke making a cake. <laughs> um, Denise Robertson sorting women's issues out. The dodgy weatherman. Probably someone off the bill. Maybe yeah. um, jo- June Ackland. A bit of a fashion parade. A bit of a fashion parade with Leslie Evitts, Fred the weatherman. <laughs> then we're at lunchtime and then one of those soaps is going to come on. Not a quiz saying you see it, you say it. Uh, you oh, see it, we say it. That was, um, I'm doing them. that was Richard and Judy, um, Channel 4, when they jumped ship. Oh, right. Um, but that would be my morning um, at home. Afternoon. Not well, sure we're talking, problem. we're talking cereals, aren't we? Afternoon, for, for me, because I'm looking at about being 13, most probably. Mm. So, neighbours. Oh, yeah, you could flick, you could avoid the news, couldn't you? And it, something like American, like an American detective series, or um, yeah, I don't know what it would be like. The Rockford Files. It wouldn't be the Rockford Files. Barnaby Jones. No, I don't even oh, that know what be, that means. You see, sometimes when I was ill, we had Sky, oh. so we were going, we were going a bit like Tenko. Very ITV. Um, when I was ill, <laughs> I think I had shingles, and I think it was Barnaby Jones. <laughs> Tenko. You see, we was, was spoiled. Who's Barnaby Jones? Um, it was like an old cop, a bit Columbo-y, but he had like a cowboy hat on. Um, but Crazy Like a Fox. Do you remember Crazy Like a Fox? Yeah. 
I used to like a bit of Crazy Like a Fox. What I loved was Scarecrow and Mrs. King, but mm. I know that wasn't on school days. Mm. Oh, the Sullivans. The Sullivans, Which, little tug of the cap. Run down the street laughing. Um, let's have a look. Repeats of Armchair Thriller, Supermarket sweep, uh, sweep, those haircuts and sweaters. What did you want to eat when you were ill? Oh, yeah. There's got to be... got to be. I remember me and my brother had um, mumps or shingles or something or something ill. And we were both ill at the same time. And we're on Age. the... Mm? Little. Yeah, it was around my birthday. So it was May. And uh, the curtains were closed. And we were on either side of the sofa. Were you little? Like... Very little. Okay. So tiny. And I remember my mum bringing in some sort of cakes my grandma or granddad had made for my birthday. Cakes when you're battling. Yeah. But the icing was bright blue. <laughs> I remember it being uh, this bright blue acrid bun. <laughs> were you delirious? Delirious and a bit feverish. <laughs> and I ate it and I think the sugar... Maybe it had something strange in it as well that sent you wacky. I think my nana had sent around the birthday cake for me because we couldn't... Because me and my brother were a bit daft when we were kids. If it was my birthday, he had to make sure it was his birthday as well. Do you know what I mean? One of us would roar. Blue icing. Very ITV. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we, what do you reckon? Very, I, I very wanted, funny credit. What did I want when I was ill? No. Strawberries. No. And fresh milk not from know. the car. You must know. Well, from your ill? Yeah. Do you, do you demand it now from me? Um, no, I d- wouldn't dare demand it from you. You'd never make it for me. Mum will know. If, oh, I know. If I mum's know. there. Egg in cup. Egg in a cup. Egg in I'd a make cup. egg in cup for you if you wanted it. Egg in a cup. That would be, um, yeah, if I was badly, I'd want egg in a cup. And what's egg in a cup? Tell people what egg in a cup is. <laughs> it is what it says on the tin. So you beat, you break up in an egg in a pot? Bake no, it? No, I don't think so. I don't... <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know the background of egg in a cup, so I don't know. Well, like, no wonder I can't make it. I don't know how to make it. You don't want to tell me what it is. <laughs> Mum will tell you. If Mum's here, type in what egg in a cup is for us. I think she is in. I'm sure she told me once it was an egg in a cup, but it's sort of chopped up a bit. Look, my dad's written already egg in a cup. Lucy, what did your mum make you when you were ill? What did Auntie Eileen do when you were badly? What is egg in a cup a honeyborn thing? Um. Helen says, I still have Heinz tomato soup oh, when I'm poorly. yes, yes. Very like Helen. Yes. And lemonade. You like lemonade when you're oh, happy, yeah. don't you? Oh, yeah. Hot lemonade as well. Uh, if you sort of heat lemonade up, it gets... It's a bit like a lemon sip without... The, without, without oh, shut up, young. Uh, put your teeth in. Um, uh, and then you have, like, egg and cup. Not egg and cup. Eggs. Normal boiled eggs. What, hard boiled? The soldier. Oh, no. Soft boiled with a yeah. soldier. Um... Filippo Yakimo, I lived on chicken soup, Blackpool milk roll with Dairy Leon and orange aid. I remember milk roll. It was like a round loaf, wasn't it? With little rigid lines on it. Milk roll. Yeah, you could cut it. I don't re- I don't remember milk roll. Alex Clark, I love a hot seven up. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I hope you mean a drink, Alex. Um Seven. <laughs> Nigel TC, I remember fancying soup when I was ill. As we didn't have Heinz tomato soup, mum did Heinz oxtail soup. She put it down and what looked like a vein <laughs> bobbed oh. to the top. <laughs> I remember oxtail soup. A little bit of meat in it, like mince. Gabby Chassie, one time when I wasn't <coughs> feeling well, I ate some peanut butter crackers. They made me sicker. To this day, when I see them in a store, I cringe. Um, lots of talk of Kilroy. Um, there is a clip of Kilroy's opening sentences. Um, I'll try and find it and play it on one week. Um, and Harry Hill is responding to them because Kilroy sort of walks to the camera and says, having a child's birthday party, but you forgot the presents. Um, boiled egg with butter, then mash it up. I think this Paul might be talking about egg in a cup. Um... But here we go. Mum's mum's come through. A boiled egg spooned into a cup, into a mug, not a cup, with bread and butter cut into squares. Mash it up. <laughs> Mash it all together. That's it. That's egg in a cup. Delicious. Thank you. Um, Linda LeHue said, Auntie Eileen generally just sent us to school. <laughs> Lucas aid at a push. Oh. Oh. She would, <laughs> you, you could have come over for an egg and cup with me. Um, yes, we did see it, Nigel, and we're gonna um, we're gonna watch that series and we're gonna clip it. Um, 
Brandy and Sherry being mentioned on BBC's Better TV show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the names of a couple of prozies. Surely they must have um, watched us, the writer, to think of Brandy and Sherry as prozzy names. Do you think? Unless you just thought, like, the crown, just named them after the Queen's Corgis. Um... Archie Diggins says you can still get milk roll from Morrison's. I remember seeing it a few years ago in a, in a supermarket. A little L- round roll. Lily Law says milk roll is still made by Warburton's. Is it like brioche? Yeah, it's very light. <laughs> what did I say to you recently? You wanted Slim Sia. No, you... Um, mm, France. Yeah, but it wasn't... I didn't, oh, I didn't want. I didn't want yoghurt. No, it wasn't Nutella. I didn't want a yoghurt. What did I want? Oh, from <laughs> I had that every morning for breakfast. <laughs> With warm berries. I did. I used to have it in a jeet. In, in a jeet with compote. <laughs> I think Jason has shared the Kilroy clip um, in the Facebook um, room. Don't watch it yet. I'll share it later. Um, <laughs> Don't watch it yet. Silla Black says, good old Kilroy. Every morning he blames single mothers for something. Oh, the single mothers. Oh, the single mothers. Um, boy, crazy boy. Pete and Cena. They remember oxtail with bits of gristle. Ooh. I remember the taste of it. It was very beefy. But then there's these little bits in it. Oxtail. Yeah. And I'd say to him, what's an oxtail? And she'd say, well, it's a, it's a ox's tail. Oh, and what's think, an ox? A big think, cow? Yeah, and you think, where's that, where, where that tail near? No, I, I remember our soups. and My mum used to buy e- soups. Egg in a cup in for a tea. me. <laughs> but they were like chicken, vegetable, tomato. That was it. And then every year, she'd um, club towards a Christmas hamper. Well, for, and, oh yeah for Christmas and in there would be some strange soups <laughs> like cream of celery I and don't know well, um, we wouldn't eat them because they were a bit weird I don't know if what what soup I would have had as an, a child would your mum make fresh soup D- uh, did we used to have potage as enfants les enfants potage I can imagine um, I can imagine Anne making a soup yeah mum did used to make she used to make um Nice soups, like vegetable soups. Nice sort mm. of thick ones. Uh, leek and potato soup. I love leek and potato soup. Just a simple pea, I remember, I remember, pea and mint consomme. I remember mum having like a, a paper card um, sachet, which was a soup. And you sort of just put this sort of dry crumbs in a pan and add water. And it became like minestrone. Well, that not that cup of soup? No, it was like a family soup thing. Big, it, big size. They were, it wasn't really nice. Oh, I loved a big cup of soup. Um, uh, just so you know, we're not actually boozing, are we? It's our first ever alcohol, alcohol-free night. Not mine. I've, I've been alcohol-free on this before. Um, I might just... First just, ever. First ever alcohol-free night. That sounds like we're out. Alcos. This is just um, lemon squash, isn't it? And you've got a, um, a posh... A, uh, posh. I've Tell got them what you're some... drinking. Uh, Alan's drinking <laughs> lemon squash moldy. I've got some um, <coughs> blood, <laughs> blood orange grapefruit and bitters. Just a very simple um, long tail fox mixer. Um, we got some news. Well, not news yet. We've not got dates or anything. But the idea is to do our next live bingo show on a Saturday afternoon. We think. Does that work for people? <coughs> Excuse me. So it'd be Saturday afternoon. It would probably start at half two and run till about five o'clock. Maybe a little bit after five, but no later than that. So we gather, we guess Saturday afternoon is mostly better for people to come and then either stay over Saturday night or go back Saturday night because the trains run late on Saturdays. So yeah, Saturday Saturday night. Um, and we're thinking bingo. of a different venue as well, aren't we? Different ve- different venue than we were at. But it's very very it's closer to the station than the, the yeah theater. than the theatre. It's um <laughs> and, and it should really work nicely in there. And then the other news is, um, we are hoping to host a quiz quiz night, a live quiz night, um, just down the road, uh, and it will be on a Thursday night. So it'll be um. A Dirty Thirsty Quiz. So, those are um, some dates for you. Uh, Caroline says, don't be April 15th. Uh, we'll make sure it's not April 15th. But we're hoping like to do it maybe um, every In couple the, of months. Yeah, we're sort of thinking more summer and spring, aren't we? Yeah, we'll give you loads of notice. We've not even 
been to the venue to talk to them yet. We found the venue. We're kind of flirting with them. Um, we just need to get in there and talk to them. Um, but yeah, Saturday afternoon for bingo. Thursday nights for the dirty quiz. Um, which won't be like dirty. Um, Kath Wells says I'm very fussy about soup. I don't like creamy ones or thin ones. Mm. I don't know what that leaves. Well, that leaves vegetable soup. Uh, she still obviously doesn't like a, a, a um, is it? Oh, Mistress Cons- Darcy. Consom. Mistress Darcy says Saturday is his busiest day. I know it's his busiest. Jason, day. well, what about if we get you a gig Saturday night, so you can come and uh, do it, and maybe we can you can do a gig Saturday I think night it means in Scarborough. Is, is, is crowded miss him though, wouldn't they on a Saturday night? He, he's well popular in Brizzle. We'll have to come to Brizzle and do a Saturday afternoon with you, Jason. Um, uh, Alex Johnson, oh dear, Alan, you better not sit in the audience on who wants to be a millionaire with that cough. Oh, I know. Um, Alan's not got his taste or his smell, have oh, you? Oh, no, no, I've lost it. <coughs> you, you're fine, aren't you? No, I've got no. I've just got horrible, I've got um, a really horrible cold now. I've not got flu anymore. Just a really nasty cold, like lingering cold. Um, and um, I feel knackered. I just feel knackered all the time. You do, mm, don't you? Yeah. Richard Bobbinstoff, and name the good hotels in Scarborough. Um, the, <coughs> the Bike and Boot is probably the nicest hotel I can think of. The Bike and Boot. Um, but there's Travel Lodge, there's a Premier Inn. Um, there is the Grand and the Royal, which are, um, really kind of hit and miss. Uh, but the Bike and Boot is lovely. Yeah, Bike and Boot would be what I recommend. Um, We've got other things, haven't we? Like, um... There's loads the of b bs Loads of B&Bs. Loads of Air B&Bs. Premier Inns and... There's two Premier Inns. Um, we'll let you know. We'll let everyone know with loads of advance notice. Um... So we are. Should we head, should we play the finale and then see people after it? Yeah. So it's almost nine o'clock. I want to leave you with something really special this week. Um, I don't think I've played this before in the Wig and Slingback, but if I have, I apologise. Um, but this is a single by the cast of Brookside. I don't think it was ever released. Alan knows this clip, don't you? Look out for Julia Brogan. Just, it's worth it for Julia Brogan alone. Um, everyone's sort of casual and she's gone full ball gown. Um, it's brilliant. Anyway, we'll see you on the other side of this to say goodbye. And here with her own song, let them know. The cast of Brookside with special guest Ruby Turner.
That over and over again. Uh, so, <laughs> welcome to our darlings, Alison uh, McGuinness and Sam Hallsworth, aka somebody, 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 somebody to love me. Uh, and Alison and Sam are saying, What the hell is this? That is um, the little known charity single from the cast of Brookside. Um, it was amazing. Amazing. Julie Brogan. <laughs> Julia Brogan is all that I need to know. The right saying, can you wear sort of like dark blues, blacks, you know, and she's like, red I, silk, I'm, <laughs> big danglers. I'm wearing my cruise gown. Um, amazing, wasn't it? Um, so some people were asking who was in the blue uh, spotty shirt. I don't know why, I can't remember his name. You used to fancy him, didn't you? I think he was called Jonathan and well, he was um, really long. When he, the posh, a yuppie. Yeah, he was a yuppie, wasn't he? <coughs> Um, that was early if um, Doreen Corkill was not called um, what was her name Chrissy no the other Petra no the oh Paul and they had a daughter called Lucy Annabelle um, Paul and Annabelle Giles no no, no. they had um, uh, they, they had Gay, Gay Gordon yes they're them what are they called Annabelle the Collins Annabelle Collins and yeah. Paul they were in the front row of that swaying bit uh, it's from 1988 I think uh, just amazing. Ali and Sam, uh, stay tuned because I have a clip of um, your dad singing um, a Cole Porter song um, in Creakley Bottom, um, along with the cast of The Bill and Lionel Blair, who's given it too much, and Pat Sharp and Captain Birdseye. Believe me. That ensemble you must mustn't miss. Um, yeah, you'd only get that crinkly bottom, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, there we are, Helen. Helen from all. She sent me the crinkly bottom clip. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that Brookside um, clip. Alex said somewhere. Um, Alex bought the cast of Casualty singing "Everlasting Love." Alex, do you have like proof of this? Can you send me a copy? Can you clip it? Because um, we're planning another um, video. Whoa whoa, 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 whoa. Helen said, that was hilarious. I'm off now. I've been covering for one of the dinner ladies. We've got dinner lady. Helen's from, uh, Helen's interviewed us. I know it's Helen B, from, isn't it? Yeah. You, Helen, are you a dinner lady? <laughs> She's been covering for the dinner ladies. We love dinner ladies. <laughs> um, oh, Ali's seen the clip of um, the Crinkly Bottom gang singing on Twitter. 
Um, did you ever see a program called Soap Aid? All the soaps came and sang. No, this is the sort of thing I need footage from because I'm trying to put together another list of um, like TV tunes. You know, we did it before. We have like Sue Pollard and um, Paul Shane singing Baby Baby. I'm trying to put another one together. So I'm looking for like odd versions and odd celebrities singing things. So we need uh, need some... Uh, We've got a dinner man. Proof. Oh. Stefan. <laughs> oh, can you imagine having Stefan at your school as a dinner man? <laughs> do, you know, do you know, I bet Stefan, um, I bet all the girls wanted to hold Stefan's hand in the playground. And I bet he often had polos. Do you know, I'd say to mum, I don't want packed lunch today. I want school dinners. <laughs> what, for Mr Butler? Yeah. What, um, <laughs> what were we laughing about the other day? You were saying that you looked like a dinner lady who turn up and not do food. Oh, what about our song? Sometimes when I'm doing like singing in drag, lip syncing, like Alison Moyet or... I think it was Bonnie Tyler. Olivia Luton john I sometimes think I look like a dinner lady or... You know, if dinner ladies like dress up for some sort of like end of year party. Yeah, or a school disco. They, <laughs> they volunteer to work at the school disco. Otherwise it's cancelled. And then you've got your dinner lady who's normally in like yellow nylon. And she turns up in like leather. We had a school disco for one of my birthday parties. Um, so you know those school discos that were like popular in the the noughties, early noughties, and you'd come dressed as a oh, school God, kid. Oh, yeah. As um, a sexy school girl. Sexy school girl, or a little cheeky school boy. Drawn, drawn on like freckles. Alan came as a dinner lady. Wow. <laughs> he wore a tabard and Sherry Stump's wig. Yeah, we'll take out a picture. Um... I was popular that day. I was giving up. Do you remember I had pockets of sweets? Oh, yes. Do Seven Network. Try and get Sope trans- uh, sent to us. Um, yeah, Alan did have sweets at my, my d- school disco. Um, I can't remember what Julie Bregan sings on the song. When did she go, Ice cream's in May. Blah, 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 blah. What did she sing? Do they know how you want to have ice creams in me? Um, Neil wants to know if we saw Ruth Maddox in Death in Paradise. No, but I saw a picture of her. Oh, is that the, like the last thing she did? Mm. Oh, she did no. look old. She looked old. She looked like an old lady. Oh, yeah, but she, um... But she still went fast. She was early. still going strong. She was in Panther, wasn't she? Early, yeah. Thank you for sending us a link. Um, Simon B, they released it as a single, even did it on Top of the Pops. Casualty. The song for Baz oh, and God Charlie's God. wedding. Oh, and Alex, you sent us some. Good, good, good. It's exactly what we want to want to check out. Mm. Um, those sort of things. I want like if anyone's got any clips of um, Fame Academy when celebrities did it for Comic Relief. So like Tara Palmer Tompkinson doing these boots are made for walking. That kind of affair. Um, how's the COVID, guys? We're still it's on, we're still the, bad. It's on its tail end, but it's not over yet. I mean, I, I, we did another test on Sunday, and I thought oh, we'd be clear. We weren't, were we? No, we're still we're still showing positive on the test. But you know, we're not, we're, <coughs> our, we're in our early fifties, darlings. We're not going to shake it off quickly, are we? Sorry, I'm not in my early fifties. How old are you? Forty-eight. Oh yeah, you're not. Sorry, I am. Sorry, I forget. <laughs> I forget. I've got a little young chicken. Oh, Martin Garton Spencer said the cast of Albion Market turn up on Soap Aid. Oh, what do they with sing? With t-shirts emblazoned with their logo on it. But they don't sing. Oh, Soap Aid sounds like my my life. Um, Archie Diggins, crikey, my school discos were in the 80s. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's when my school discos were. But I mean, as in like in the noughties, there were loads of places opened up. In London. Well, in, London in London. To... to You'd go along for school disco. Dressed as sex, like, sexy school Yeah, girl. Hammersmith, there was a massive school disco. They didn't last very long, did they? Then all the pictures were quite raucous. Sam Holsworth, I loved Fame Academy as well. Capital letters, Sam Holsworth. I um, absolutely loved that little um, impish lesbian that won. I don't remember her name now. Alex. You shouldn't call her that. Um, oh, she wouldn't mind. Alex, y- Alex Young? Alex Parks. Loved her. Loved her. She disappeared. Um, Yorkshire bus guy, sorry I'm late. Shame to hear you have the COVID. We're, we're going really soon, my love. Alex Parks, Alex Parks. Yeah, I loved Alex Parks. She's kind of disappeared. Um, time for me to go. Meds are kicking in. Night, night, Beth and Williams. Oh, you were unwell as well, love. 
Um, Richard Bobbins Duffer. I still haven't got over seeing Ruth Maddox boobs on that TV stripper show. What? <laughs> she did that real full Monty. Oh, did she? I don't th- did you see her boobs? I know she did um, Calendar Girls, but she wouldn't get back on that, would she? She was in the stage show we saw. Uh, James Brett, please, please, please show some of the celebrity stars in their eyes. Light Lunch Mel and Sue doing I Know Him So Well is fabulous. Um, oh, I'll have a look for that. We can't show them on here because anything ITV gets... Um, well, anything music will get nabbed. Gets nabbed. Um, Paul Henry, Waiting at the Crossroads. Paul Henry's on the, on the list. And there's also... I don't want to tell you what we're going to do because we don't want to spoil it. But exactly those sort of things we're looking for. Um... Ivy Tilsley sang something on the word very drunk. Yeah, she sang I Will Survive, I think. Um, we ended one of our shows with Ivy Tilsley on um, and, uh, a weird sort of Japanese, Japanese karaoke song show. Yeah, she sort of sang in Mike Baldwin's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> right, we should go. Mark yeah. Mondeo Pearson's phone is nearly dead. Nibbles has just popped in, which means it's his break at Tesco. Oh. Um have you watched Nolly on ITVX? Yes, we loved it. We loved Nolly. Um, in fact, I was looking at watching c- clips of Nolly herself on um, TVAM today when she was talking about returning. And she says to um, Anne Diamond, have you ever been to Venice? And Anne Diamond goes, no, I'd love to go. And she goes, it's very expensive. <laughs> I was watching um, the episode when um, Amy Turtle makes a comeback. <clears throat> one episode where she sort of re- revisits the hotel. She, she wears like a little posh frock, doesn't she? Yeah, and she she thought it was going to be like, you know, the, the start of a new part of her career. But oh, yeah, it was great. We <clears throat> loved it, um, Ali. Amazing. Right, lovelies. Um, and you're teaching tomorrow at seven a.m., aren't you? Yeah, I'm teaching at seven a.m. I'm teaching in um, India, so I've got to be up at six, something like that, and get all this set up for um tomorrow because i don't want julia brogan popping <laughs> popping in in the middle of my teaching because i used to say buttons yeah um we had this lined up Happy birthday to you. i don't think it's anyone's birthday <laughs> but well, they, no they that when, said. It, when it is she's always mm. ready and if, if ever if your birthday is coming up and we are going about to do a live show let us know yes yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. Um, we'll put set on for you. We will. All right, my loves. Good well, night. Ho- hopefully, we'll be back everyone. next week. Well, we will be. Uh, okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any announcements about bingo and um, quizzes. And um, I'll leave you with the little bingo advert. And we'll see you next week. Don't know if there'll be a video yesterday. Oh, it's Stefan's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Stefan, my darling boy. Um, So keep your eyes peeled for announcements of our next live show. Uh, We might do a video this weekend. I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. Uh, It depends how we're feeling. And the weather temperature. And uh, we Um, will let you know. And thank you for all the good comments of the Two Fat Ladies. That was our last little um, video gift to you. And that went down well. And if you want to tip us, you know how to do it. Uh, the address is down there. Um, you can scan that QR code. And I've set it up now. So hopefully we are accepting PayPal payments here. But also you should be able to pay with credit card now. Because I know people had some problems. Don't pay the girls. We, this we pay, pay the, the girls. girls. All right, darlings. Um, night night. Night night. night. night.
shout out for uh, the wonderful Jamie Honeybourne and Alan Gibbons who do the isolation creations. You can check them out on social media. Uh, they do all your favourites off the telly. Check them out. They're so glorious. And here with their own song, let them know. The cast of Brookside with special guest Ruby Turner. Be a new life you're making spread. 